Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today I will discuss week 12 programming assignment 1 of the course Programming in Java. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Now this is the problem statement. Uh, now we know that what is parameterized constructor and this is the programming assignment. In this task we have to create a class called student then add two variables name and role and then write a parameterized constructor to assign values to these variables. Now in the main method create a student object by passing the name and role number and then print the details okay. Uh, so then click here Java. Now here you can see that the class is there as mentioned and there is two variable it's written as mentioned that is string name and int role. Then we have to write the parameterized constructor okay. Uh, so the parameterized constructor will be uh, the same name as the uh, class name so the class name is student so the parameterized constructor name should be student okay then we have to write the parameter which is string name and int role okay so these two we have to write in the constructor then inside the constructor we have to write this dot name is equal to name this dot role is equal to role okay so this is our task then we have to uh, click here save as draft then we have to click compile and run now here you can see that uh, the compilation is passed public test case one by one first okay then we have to click submit now here you can see that the private test cases used for evaluation status is passed now coming to programming assignment 2 of week 12 now here we have to understand the method overloading in java Okay, this is the problem statement and uh, this is the programming assignment. We have to create a class called calculator and we have to overload a method called add in two ways. A method that add two integers and a method that add three integers. Okay, so we have to uh, create two method with the same name. Now in the main method call both version of add and print the results. Okay, uh, now this is the test case, sample test case. Now here click Java. Now here you can see public class uh, W12P2, now static class calculator, now here is a method is given that is public int add, that means uh, here there is two parameters is uh, given, okay, so we have to overload the method, so we have to write in the same way that public static, sorry, uh, public int, then add, then here we have to write three integer, that is int a, comma int b, comma int c, okay, so we can write like this, then inside the method we have to write uh, return, a plus B plus C okay then we have to uh, this is the method uh, so here you can see uh, two method is there with same name and different parameters okay so it is called method overloading now here you have to click save as draft then we have to click compile and run now here you can see that the compilation is passed and public test case one by one passed okay then we have to click submit now here uh, there is a problem that nothing is showing here but it is the correct code okay because you can do nothing here uh, it is the only option to do uh, going to the programming assignment 3 this is programming assignment 3 of week 12 uh, so this is the programming assignment first we have to read an integer from the user then if the number is greater than 0 then print positive number if the number is less than 0 then print negative number and if the number is exactly 0 then we have to print 0 uh, but I think there is a problem in this code I write uh, this code uh, now when I am compiling this code uh, it is showing that compilation is passed but it is showing a runtime error so I try uh, several times uh, to remove this error but can't find any way okay so if you can uh, remove this error uh, then please mention the code below okay in the comment section i think there is some problem in the user input uh, i also used the try catch block here like if we compile this code then see what is showing uh, it is showing the actual output as any i think so there are some problem in the NPTEL input uh, so if you can do this then please mention the code uh, in the below comment section okay this is programming assignment 4 of week 12. Now here this is the programming assignment that read an integer n from the user then use a loop to add the numbers from 1 to n uh, and print the final sum. Like if the input is 5 then uh, the sum of all the natural numbers from 1 to 5 is 15. Okay so this is our code. Uh, now click here Java. Now here you can see uh, that public static void main then uh, the integer is taken uh, and the sum is equal to 0. Then we have to use a loop to find the sum of the uh, first int number. Okay, so for then int i is equal to uh, 1, 2, i less than equal to uh, n. Okay, then i plus plus. So it is our loop. Then inside the loop, we have to write sum is equal to sum plus is equal to, it is the shorthand operator, then sum plus is equal to then i. Okay, uh, 
uh, then we have to print the sum no it is printed here okay so system dot out dot print ln then sum is here okay so then we have to click save as draft then we have to click compile and run now here you can see uh, that public test cases one by one passed okay uh, then we have to click submit then here you can see that the private test cases used for evaluation status is passed now coming to the last assignment that is programming assignment 5 now this is programming assignment 5 okay now before going to this assignment if you want the previous four sessions assignment questions along with the answers then please mail me at this mail uh, this assignment will help you a lot in your final proctored exam so in this assignment you will read the n numbers and store them in an array now you have to calculate the sum of all the positive numbers and you have to count how many negative numbers are present in the array now finally you have to print both the result okay so this is our task now if you see the sample test case uh, there are five inputs okay then there is two negative numbers okay minus two and minus eight so count of negative numbers is two and if you see uh, there are three positive number one is three another is seven and another is ten so if you add these three numbers, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10 and 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. So sum of the positive numbers are 20. So this is our task. Now we have to click Java here. Now here you will see that uh, the inputs of the array are taken. Now here are two variables. One is sum and one is negative count. So the sum will store the summation of all the positive numbers in the array and the negative count will store the numbers of negative number in the array. Now we have to access the array through for int i is equal to 0 and i less than n then i plus plus okay then inside this for loop we have to see that uh, the positive numbers okay so if uh, arr of i is greater than 0 then we have to add those numbers in the summation okay so sum plus is equal to arr of i then uh, else we have to increase the uh, array count sorry negative count okay so negative count plus plus okay so it will increase the number of negative numbers so it is our code then we have to click save as draft then we have to click compile and run now here you will see that uh, the public test cases one by one passed okay and compilation is passed then we have to click submit then here you will see that the private test cases used for evaluation status is passed so thank you for watching the video if you get some help from this video then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you see you in a later video okay so till then goodbye